Good day everyone, I'm Carl Jason El Corporal and our professor tasked us to do a certain circuit simulation involving fluid sim software and PLC. And uh, we are tasked to create a circuit uh, involving or relate with relation to this stamping device here in which the conditions are first when the PB1 is pressed, the workpiece is fed into the machine by cylinder 1.0 from a gravity feed magazine and is clamped in place by the same cylinder. Next, it is stamped by cylinder 2.0. After stamping, cylinder 2.0 retracts, followed by cylinder 1.0. Once the workpiece is fully declamped, it is ejected by cylinder 3.0. Now for my circuit, this is my circuit. I'm involving three cylinders, cylinder 1.0, cylinder 2.0, and cylinder 3.0. I've involved uh, distance sensors S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6 in which the distance of S1, S3, S5 is 0 and S2, S4, S6 is 100. I've involved a uh, 5 over N valve here, 3 5 over N valve in which involves an output of solenoid 1, solenoid 2, solenoid 3 and it, it is also spring return. Now, all of these are uh, connected to a single compressor, air compressor, in which I place the pressure in the lowest value possible so that we can clearly see the movement of the cylinders in the simulation later. Now, for my main circuit, I am involving a push button and the distance sensor, S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6. And I've skipped the I0 and Q0 um, input and output port because for formality I wanted to start an I1. Now my uh, push button 1 is connected on input 1, Say uh, S1 is connected in input 2, S2 is connected in input 3, S3 is connected in input 4, S4 is connected in input 5, S5 is connected into input 6, S6 is connected to input 7. Now for my output, I'm involving solenoid 1, solenoid 2, solenoid 3, in which is connected to Q1, solenoid 2 is connected to Q2, solenoid 3 is connected to Q3, and they they are in they, are, they can be seen here in our cylinder uh, wiring diagram, in which solenoid 1 involves uh the cylinder 1.0, solenoid 2 involves the cylinder 2.0, and solenoid 3 involves the cylinder 3.0. And for my PLC program, I've, uh, I've implemented the use of a logic module, and I created a system involving a certain end gates and latching relay components. I've used this so that I can satisfy the given conditions. So I1 is the push button, I2 is sensor 1 goes down respectively, involving uh, end gates and latching relay components. Now for the simulation, we just press play here. We first start at this logic module, in which when I press push button 1, and then sensor 1 uh, automatically is automatic uh, at a trigger state then uh, cylinder 1.0 uh, extends in a way that it will latch because that's what the condition wants we need to clamp a certain object so it it must be latched it must stay in its position so when we trigger sensor 2 then it stays latch the cylinder 1.0 stays uh, extended now we trigger sensor 3 then the cylinder 2.0 extends in a way that it is latched then the next step is that when the the certain object is uh, clamped by cylinder 1.0 and it's stamped by cylinder 2.0 then this both cylinders must retract in which i attach a double latching relay so that when a sensor 4 
activates or triggers this bo the, the cylinder 1.0 and cylinder 2.0 retracts. So let's try it. I, I'm naming this uh, reset input. There you go. So if uh, the sensor 4 triggers, uh, cylinder 1.0 and cylinder 2.0 retracts. Now for cylinder 3.0, after the they retracts, the two cylinder the two first cylinder retracts, the cylinder 3.0 must trigger. So I place the uh, sensor 5 here. So when sensor 5 triggers, the cylinder 3.0 extends and it latches because it will eject the object. And I placed a formality sensor 6 here so that everything after this whole process, everything will go back to the first position and then continue the next position, continue the process. So when sensor 6 triggers, it goes back to its original position. Now, for my uh, certain circuit, main circuit so we have press play here so this is the push button i press the push button there so first it will trigger s1 it latches trigger s uh i mean trigger the cylinder 1.0 it latches here trigger the cylinder 2.0 it latches here then after they latch they go back to its, they retract to its original position and cylinder 3.0 triggers and then goes retract again. So let's try that again. There you go. Uh, this means it's uh, clamp, this is stamp, this is eject. So let's try it again. Um, clamp, stamp, eject. Clamp, stamp, eject. So that's it.